Hi, I'm Brother Leo Mary, and in the Catechism of the Catholic Church, paragraph 105 to 108, the Church is teaching us about Scripture, the Bible, how it was written. There is one primary author, that is the Holy Spirit, and there are many other authors, they call it secondary authors. This pen right here can be a good example of that. You have one pen, but you have ten different color inks. So you have one primary author, the Holy Spirit, and He inspires the other authors, the secondary authors, to write. And so each one of those secondary authors would be like a different color on this pen. Now, the Holy Spirit uses all the gifts of those secondary authors. He doesn't just write through them and override them. He uses all their gifts. So St. Luke is a physician. He's a doctor. So when St. Luke writes the Gospel of St. Luke, he uses those gifts as a doctor, and he writes in a doctor's way of writing. Maybe not as messy. And then you have St. Matthew. He's like a, he's a tax collector. So he does a lot of numbers. And so in Matthew's Gospels, you're going to see numbers, and things fit together with a lot of numbers. And that's because the Holy Spirit is using the gifts of each one of those authors. And that's all the way back to the Old Testament. It's the same Holy Spirit who wrote the Old Testament, the same Holy Spirit who wrote the New Testament. So that's why it's inspired. It's inspired by God. Now the sacred scriptures, the Bible, has no error in it. The Holy Spirit got these authors to write only what He wanted them to write, whatever He writ wanted written, and no more. That's the Holy Spirit. He says, Whatever he wanted written and no more. There is no error in the Bible because the Holy Spirit is the main primary author of the sacred scripture. Now in the catechism it says very beautifully, We must acknowledge that the books of scripture firmly, faithfully, and without error teach that truth which God, for the sake of your salvation, wished to be confided to the sacred scriptures. So God is the one who gave us the Bible and there is no error. So when you read paragraphs 105 to 108, you understand more about how the Bible was written. God bless you.